Hello everyone, this is Vijju Chiliveru. I am the host of The Interview with Chiliveru and we are sitting in our studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I will be introducing to you a gentleman who is coordinating one of the largest non-profit organizations, Vibha, organization which focuses in making a lot of changes to the lives of underprivileged children in India, helping them get education, better lifestyle, housing, etc. Thank you Mr. Vijay Vemikpuri for coming to our studios and sharing uh, all about the organization. As I was telling my audience, um, you coordinate from Atlanta Center and you deal with so many different uh, uh, centers in the uh, United States, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And also with the Indian projects. Mm -hmm. So can you share the overview, I mean, just give me a summary of the boss, you know, projects, mission statement, the concept, the spirit behind the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, you're right. The best way that we can uh, describe what is Vibha is uh, going by the mission statement, which is to educate, empower and enable every individual who wishes to make a difference in the lives of underprivileged children. Right. So we have identified four stakeholders in this whole effort. Number one is the volunteers, uh, two is the donors, third is the projects that are making the difference on the ground mm -hmm. and ultimately four is the children, children. Right? Beneficiaries. beneficiaries, ultimate beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So we want to educate, empower and enable every individual who wishes to make a difference. So we want to educate, empower and enable all these four uh, stakeholders. A number of volunteers come with the spirit of, I want to do something, I want to make a difference. So, Vibha provides them the platform mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. So, Vibha provides them, educates them, what are the causes, how we are solving them, and how do we do that. Some volunteers come with the spirit of, okay, I want to raise money, I want to organize fundraisers and have fun doing it. So, we empower them with the tools on how to do fundraisers and how to enjoy doing it. And some of our volunteers are very cause focused. Mm -hmm. So we tell them, okay, these are our projects. This is how we evaluate them. So we train them on how to evaluate a project when we get proposals. Mm -hmm. So that some of our volunteers are very excited about that. Mm -hmm. So we give them different options on uh, how to uh, we, and we empower them with different options of how to make a difference and for example when they go to India if they would like to see uh, how what is being done exactly. how their resources are being used how their donations are being spent we facilitate so with a lot of our donors they will, uh, exactly. uh, are inspired you know after seeing the projects wow you know how, how the funds are being how the funds are being used when they see with their own eyes oh this is how the difference is being made when they talk about different making a difference this they actually see with their own eyes how the difference is being made. where Vibha distinguishes itself from a lot of other foundations and organizations is we also focus on educating them and empowering them with a different set of tools for example if a uh, project in uh, Bombay slums is solving a problem we bring that solution to the slums of Hyderabad or Calcutta or Bombay or Delhi. It's a template uh, you would like to basically right. give out to other centers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes we even have to train them on basic tools like how to uh, maintain data, how to write reports so that we enable them to apply to bigger foundations. 
So we give them the initial seed money, mm -hmm. help them grow, and then so that they can uh, scale up. Okay. Uh, and then of course, ultimately educating, empowering, and enabling the children. That is our ultimate goal. Yeah, so after carefully hearing what you've been saying, I see a lot of words starting with E. Enabling and empowering and yes. educating. That, that, that's a beautiful flow. When you say empower, yes, I understand you would like to be the tools and uh, perhaps self-govern mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. they, they would like to understand the purpose of the project. Correct. Then again, initiate and execute fully mm -hmm. so that they reap the benefits. Yes. When, I, when I say the benefit completely, the satisfaction of, okay, I've done something. Mm -hmm. Let's move this towards uh, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Like you, mm -hmm. We talked about the global Overview. Now let's let's now region wise. Mm -hmm. Atlanta started about 25 years ago, and you've been mm -hmm. uh, here associated with this project right from the day one, mm -hmm. consistently. And uh, I'll be talking about logistics part of it mm -hmm. to your colleagues, mm -hmm. Srinivas sure. and uh, yes. Prasuma and yes. others. I'll be doing that. But yes. the question I have to you is now: Are the volunteers you choose, or they come and join? Do they? sustain the same interest as they brought on the very first day. Mm -hmm. These these projects and this kind of uh, development uh, initiatives mm -hmm. need consistent uh, mm -hmm. effort. Mm -hmm. It's not a simple organization or an association where you're doing an event and then walking away. Mm -hmm. It needs focus. Mm -hmm. I started today mm -hmm. and I know my involvement and my tools. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if it goes away, mm -hmm. then the project perhaps may get dropped off. Right? So that is where I think uh, consciously we made it uh, people independent. Okay. You know, it is the organization's basic principles oh. are okay. make sure that this is people independent. You know, so uh, create a culture, create a platform in such a way that anybody who has, okay, I'm at a stage in my life where I have some time, I want to make a difference. And then they get married, they get you know children. Okay, for the next four or five years, I have to step back. That is fine, no problem. Somebody will come in and take it up. So the moment you make it people independent, the work goes on. That period is called Corolla to your town, town and country. Yes, right? yes. <laughs> and then what is interesting is once their children go to high school, you know the same. Now okay, now we we are interested. In fact, I want to. Uh, make my children be a part of it and then once they go to college they actually want to come back I want to I, I have a lot of freedom I want to do. so this is this is the transitions that I have been seeing in these red pavilions and it is very interesting so tell me something about the kind of projects that you uh, enable one education yes and are there any dorms uh, hostels kind of thing or, uh, or or do you do you focus on supplies we I think education perhaps is the number one Right. But have you, absolutely, you know, if you uh, our focus areas are education, vocational training, mm -hmm. healthcare, and we have some projects that uh, are for uh, physically and mentally handicapped children, mm -hmm. special needs children. Uh, but but if you draw a pie chart, education probably is about fifty percent of our focus area. Even when you talk about education. Uh, the kind of projects that we support, the kind of uh, issues that we deal with mm -hmm. are entirely different from a urban environment to semi-urban to rural to tribal. In a tribal environment, there are not even schools. So we identify projects that can start schools mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, make sure that government then takes that up. Same thing, in, whereas in rural and semi-urban, there are government schools, but the focus there is to how to make them efficient. Right. Right. Uh, unfortunately, in the last 20-30 years, the government schools are in a downward spiral. So, in fact, uh, incidentally, one of our best projects is called Sikshana, okay. which identified this problem mm -hmm. and through motivational efforts, motivational efforts uh, directed towards the students mm -hmm. as well as teachers, right. most importantly. They are trying to bring back the excitement levels in the schools okay. as, as a result of which the uh, educational standards are going up, Good. the attendance uh, percentages are going up. So this has been one of our successful projects which we identified in 2005. Uh, at that time, Sikshana was in 15 government schools in Karnataka 
we identified this as a scalable and replicable project this is one of the mantras mm-hmm. uh, in vibha which is uh, uh, this is a conscious decision that we made about 10 years ago instead of supporting a number of projects let us identify scalable and replicable efforts and shikshna was an excellent example when we started partnering with them they were in 15 schools today they are in 2000 uh, government schools in the state of karnataka we also made it replicable we tried its replicability in andhra pradesh and gujarat and maharashtra so uh, so through these efforts uh, now and working with the government in fact as we speak last week we the shikshana project did a mou mm-hmm. with the government of karnataka where completely two districts are being are implementing this model of motive through motivation making the education better to break the monotony mm-hmm. i'll ask you some rapid fire questions okay and uh, the answers can be as short as my questions sure okay uh, which is larger is it uh, the organization which is in us or india like uh, n- n- numbers wise i'm talking about the us uh, yes yes sir yes now how much our effort is to raise resources here all that the, all the projects are in india we actually support some projects in usa as well wherever the volunteers are active for example in atlanta we support the children's health care of atlanta you yeah. cheated i said the short answer that's sorry <laughs> <laughs> okay coming to the government role like uh, does the government of india and the state governments do they help a lot or okay help like do you, do you get as much help as you want i so cannot give a short help. answer okay, but right. i will make it brief the culture is changing even within the government they have identified that working with the non profits is the best way to make a difference mm-hmm. and the converse is also true even within the non profits also now they don't view government as as a as uh, something uh, outside their boundaries so there is a lot of partnership going on between the non profit and the government I think there's a lot of change coming in government uh, like people the the, the, the ministers in yes. India they they we call them ministers I think they 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 are coming with a lot of education background mm-hmm. and they they're able to understand the importance of these things okay. now, for example Absolutely. if you look at the Telangana government or mm-hmm. the Andhra Pradesh government mm-hmm. uh, the sons of the chief ministers mm-hmm. they are going into you know the public mm-hmm. the, the people the right. society and they're trying to understand they're right. coming back yes talking to so many different groups mm-hmm. colleagues to make the change get mm-hmm. done absolutely yes uh, yes now how many centers are there in us we have uh, about 15 action centers right. atlanta is one of the largest do you compete with each other for the no <laughs> it's, 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 it's a platform you know we share in fact most of our tools are centralized right. so that nobody needs to reinvent the wheel If somebody is doing a cricket tournament in uh, dallas we tell them okay this is our uh, plan uh, this is our uh, format just go ahead and replicate it yes okay. and uh, which are your main annual events which are occurring yeah what are they the dream mile uh, the 5k 10k run uh, which was incidentally started in georgia tech atlanta okay right we take a lot of pride in that uh, started in 1998 by a phd student in georgia tech mm-hmm. now it is one of our main flagship event across all centers okay good and then of course after that beyond that each action center depending on what excites them they do some people do cricket tournament some people do dandiyas uh, and and cultural events when visiting artists from india come we do fundraising depending on the interest and, and resources but yes but dream mile is common for all these 15 20 centers it is done in most centers most yes right. how many volunteers are there in us approximately uh, anywhere between um, uh, 500 to 600 volunteers okay. uh, but very actively working on a daily basis i would put the number somewhere around 200 to yes okay so they have a special task do you do you provide or, or, or do you categorize them example okay you yeah. you are fundraising person mm-hmm. you are an event person mm-hmm. or you are a training person do, absolutely do depending on their interests interest. whatever motivates them mm-hmm. uh, as i said you know some people are interested in doing fundraisers okay. some people are interested in doing providing back end technology support okay. some people are uh, more creative uh, so they they provide creative uh, support that is what excites them and ultimately we have this group mm-hmm. which uh, is completely focused on evaluating projects on a weekly basis they meet 2 to 3 mm-hmm. hours they are very passionate very passionate and uh, in fact a lot of confidence for me 
comes in how seriously they take these yes. projects in making sure that the dollars are spent. Uh, you must be a very poor person when you look at all these people bringing a lot of experience to the table, a lot of passion to the table. You must be one of the, I think, the most, uh, the, the proudest person perhaps. Uh, I, 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 feel, uh, I feel very excited. Very excited. I feel very uh, energized when I work with okay. all these teams. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Now, what's your role? I think it uh, looks like you get everything done by everyone. So, do you work at all? <laughs> what's, what's your role? Well, uh, if I step away from Vibha, Vibha will go on. That's the beauty of it. That's beautiful. Yes. I thought it was the river. No. No? No. no. So you sort of uh, are the person steering all the initiatives? I am on the board of Vibha at okay. the national level. I am mm -hmm. the secretary of the organization. Mm -hmm. So I am also the president of Vibha when we registered Vibha in okay. India as well. Okay. So we have, uh, I am on the board and we have uh, weekly meetings there. Mm -hmm. So we have these regular meetings mm -hmm. in addition to what's happening in Atlanta mm -hmm. on okay. the ground. Yeah. If someone wants to uh, enroll as a volunteer, what way he can do and why should he volunteer for Vibha and how can he do that or he or she can do that? Uh, Vibha is a platform. So if you want to make a difference, there is a platform. There is a people independent process driven platform. Uh, whatever is your interest, uh, there is a need. So uh, and there is a need and there is an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So it is for you to come and make use of that opportunity and uh, fulfill your wish of making a difference. Go to vibha.org and uh, click on volunteer and just register there and one of us will uh, contact you and then we will take it from there. Okay. So what do you do for me? Uh... I work uh, with Equifax. Okay. Uh, it's a credit uh, reporting. Uh, reporting company and I have been with them for a long time. Yes. Have you seen the change that you really wanted to see, for example, you started, like like we, we have been saying 25 years back, so a child who started benefiting from Vibha, let's say right from the age of 5 years or mm -hmm. 10 years, mm -hmm. they would be about 30-35 years mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. How many such people mm -hmm. are in the workforce mm -hmm. or became professionals mm -hmm. and leading a very good mm -hmm. life on par with your me? Give me some Strange examples, yeah. some random examples. I will give you, I will give you a two-part answer to this. Right. Number one, you know, I think it was uh, probably in 1998 or so, after I was involved with the organization for a few years, I visited a project, and when I I visited the project, and in the evening, when I saw the children playing. You know, uh, seven stones and a ball, mm. right? That, uh, that we used to, we, in Telugu we call Edurarlada, uh, right? When I saw them playing that game, and more recently when I visited a project in uh, uh, Vizag mm. called Bhagavatala Charitable Trust, one of my favorite mm. projects, um, when I saw them playing, you know, the game of cricket, mm. the times have changed. That is when I realized that these are the children that are, that are otherwise on the streets or on the platforms mm. Mm. whereas they are brought to these projects oh. and they are being given an education in the morning and in the evening when they are able to play in such a secure, happy environment. These are the games that I played in my childhood. I knew that their childhoods are being restored. Before uh, directly or indirectly is trying to prevent uh, the child labor, number one. Yes. Right? And uh, homeless life, like they, they don't have... They don't we have, have some projects like that. As I said, you know, currently we are supporting about 30 projects in India, mm -hmm. reaching about uh, 55,000 to 60,000 children on an annual basis currently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. These 30 projects are different in nature. Some of them, as you said, are uh, more... Uh, sensitive projects where uh, prevention of child labor, prevention of uh, creating better environment for girl child in sensitive areas. Uh, Protection. Yes. Whereas some projects are, they are in, in rural areas, they, they, the, the, the general environment is healthy, uh, but the schools are not performing well. 
so some projects are to make wherever it is okay to make it better to make it uh, whereas wherever it is really in a bad shape to bring them to uh, uh, an acceptable level so these children can be different categories i understand like one yes that means they they get this benefit with the support of the parents like parents do send them to the school someone yes. and they can, the kids also can be uh, maybe homeless or uh, yes in some know, in some of our projects yes. 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 yes 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 and to to go back to your other answer yes there are a number of children who have come out of these projects that are uh, uh, that that have become first time education uh, first generation uh, educated in the family, in the family. and they are uh, earning regular salaries regular doing regular jobs yes. believe it or not some of them have made it even to us yes. yes. from some of our projects and i'm sure they are volunteers yes back, back, yes. back in the world back to back to their respect to project if not to give up yes now tell me i mean share some of the best moments right just one or two best moments and the worst challenges that you faced tell me something which really touched your heart i think the incident that i i described earlier is 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 one thing that always come to my mind and whenever i am stressed about something not going the way i remember that incident you know Beautiful. what we are doing is for that reason to restore their childhood these are all day to day problems day to day problems you know ultimate goal is we are restoring the childhood and and that is what is uh, the, the the important thing now uh, we the challenges we always have to keep an eye on making sure that our money is best used right. okay so uh, i know that the non profit culture in india itself has changed significantly in the last 20 years that i will assure you i have seen Absolutely. the the, the maturity and the professionalism of the non profit sector is 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 uh, is on the rise okay but nevertheless we cannot keep our eyes off and so we always keep an eye and We, we had identified few bad apples, and uh, when I visit India, I always make sure to visit few projects. And if I have any uncomfort, any level of uh, discomfort, we make a surprise visit. And uh, so there were yes, there were a couple of occasions when uh, we had to withdraw from a project. It's, uh, but it's always painful when we do that. I am working on a small project called uh, My Three yes. for senior citizens, mm-hmm. which is a mirror image. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's for kids and yes. for seniors, like yes. both both the phases of life, right? Yes. So it's very small, as you know. You yeah. you know My Three very well. Yes. So yes. Definitely, there will be a lot of ideas. Yes. Lot yes. of ideas, perhaps we could take from you, mm-hmm. and again identify the seniors mm-hmm. who have uh, perhaps financial problems or. Mm-hmm. Health issues. Mm-hmm. We like to identify them, mm-hmm. help them separately. Mm-hmm. I'm, plan- I'm planning uh, mm-hmm. certain things for mm-hmm. them too. Mm-hmm. So maybe- On the other hand, you have uh, you, you are dealing with people who have uh, maturity and a lot of resources and uh, uh, professionalism. You know, in fact, when I said previously that the non-profit sector is uh, gaining a lot of maturity, it is because of these people who have. gone through their professional life right. and they are bringing that professionalism now into non profit sector a lot of senior citizens are now uh, as a post retirement uh, stage they are taking up non profit and that is what has uh, in- improved the professionalism within the non profit sector so enable by enabling them i think you will be able to uh, make a bigger impact uh, in my dream yes for your solution and the thanks for coming to show thank you thank you very much viba is one organization which always uh, lived up to its name by providing service to underprivileged children uh, at the expense of sounding judgmental organizations in usa um at times have been driven by some or the other uh, unpleasant factors but viba is one common platform where uh, everyone would find significant value to their contribution no matter how small it is my best wishes to viba thank you thank you very much welcome to the show madhavi thank you thank you for being a part of this show i understand there are about 250 active volunteers who work for 3 months and you need to take care of their 
you know, sort of, you need to acknowledge and then sort of appreciate, which is difficult. It's not easy. So do you do as a sort of an event or you call them? What do you do? How do you do? Please explain your own words. Yeah, Vipa actually, I see Vipa as a big whole family. So we welcome the new volunteers into our family. So okay. in doing a volunteer appreciation party, where we recognize each and every person mm. uh, individually, like mm -hmm. if it is a registration team or mm -hmm. if it is a site prep or anything, like we call each and every individual volunteer name and we give a certificate okay. and we, we can acknowledge their uh, uh, efforts. efforts and uh, what they did on that day mm -hmm. and so that they can feel comfortable and they feel happy, not only just whatever we give is just peanuts, Absolutely. it's not that the main thing is uh, their um, pure uh, volunteer service that we wanted okay. and that's what we expect from them and if they feel that comfortness they'll come back and again sure. as I said Viba is a big family and we welcome them with our open hands and we want them more like as you know there are like 100 and plus K families in, in, in Atlanta they're like what what we have is only 250 volunteers <laughs> okay. imagine if 100 and plus uh, K volunteers will be Viba volunteers our whole nation will be changed so our step by step is like to reach out to that whole big crowd but uh, yeah coming to your answer we do volunteer yeah. appreciation party you, you, when you have done this one has any volunteer spoke straight from the heart and do you recollect anything so last year uh, because our appreciation party is on December 4th this year mm -hmm. and uh, please you also welcome <laughs> I was about to say I am welcome yes, yes. <laughs> okay. so but I can speak for the last year appreciation party um, there is a one boy like a 13 year old boy mm -hmm. he helped in keeping the flyers in restaurants and all mm -hmm. and uh, we recognized him mm -hmm. uh, saying that thank you for your efforts and mm -hmm. he was like so happy Absolutely. how did you know did my mom tell me or tell you or what like no, no we know that you did this so we are very thankful and all that and uh, he was so happy and this year he is a really good volunteer he is in one of the teams and uh, he's not only spreading the flyers but he also brought some friends and uh, make them volunteer too and good. that gives us all the team like you know satisfaction the small medals that you give it to the kids uh, six years seven year old kids they take it home keep it so nicely when I go to different people's houses I see that you know this organization's medal nicely decorated exactly so yeah. that really tells That's the story priceless for them it's like uh, you know do, do you know how the other centers are doing and uh, do you get some, I mean, sort of, do you take a cue from them or any ideas from them to do it better every year? Actually, to be a think about that is Labiba is like a big family right. but at the same time we compete each other to do the best. Okay. So, <laughs> if that, that state, okay, Texas state did this, okay, how can we do better? better than that. How can we uh, bring more volunteers? How can we raise more funds? than that so that was that makes it excelling by competing yes something like and understand. which is like gives more satisfaction because you're doing for cause uh, we did a flash mob right. and uh, it, it's like everybody in the audience they said they got some tears because uh, it is the story of a boy right. who wants to go to a school and mom okay. can't afford that just treat me it's just a real story and we enacted and Shiva Tullapati he uh, did volunteer service by choreographing it Good. and it came out so well and uh, most of the Bilba volunteers danced in that mm -hmm. and uh, that was really great that uh, it's a real story and it was enacted and everybody was like moved uh, by seeing that Right. See, so, so that was something new that we tried this year. Good. So you appreciate everybody. You do volunteer for them. Who appreciates your effort? Is there anyone? God. Okay. Okay. God. <laughs> so no, finally, do is your name called on the stage? And do you I don't want any name. But that is why I joined in Vipa. Exactly. <laughs> thank you very much for all the information. This thank this this really is a good uh, finishing touch. The entire. Oh, thank you. It's a good story. Thank you so much. Thinking about Viva, I think uh, one of the things that comes into the mind is not only the great service that they do in terms of the number of people or the kids that they touch, especially in India, but also the volunteers that are there. And then also some of the kids that they touch in US, 
are having you know better time due to the work that they are kind of doing but what strikes me the most is the day-to-day -day lives or the day-to-day -day people that we see with Viva. I mean the energy that they bring in to the table but also the number of kids that they motivate every day. I think that is the most exciting thing when we go to high schools and then especially like you know the kids that we know uh, in our community they feel very proud to be part of uh, you know Viva organization. Srinivas, welcome to Inner with Chiluviru. I was talking to Vijay Yenapuri, your brother. Thank you. He was explaining all about Vibha's goals, the how it started almost 25 years back. Uh, I would like to ask you about the Atlanta Center. So Viva has got a lot of different centers all over the country in the United States. So let's talk about Atlanta. So it's huge obviously, because I see so many different events. So tell me all about Atlanta Center briefly, then I may ask you more questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you said, yes, we have a lot of action centers and Atlanta is one of the biggest action centers. And uh, yeah, we started this uh, action center in 96 in Atlanta. Okay, and uh, actually I am involved uh, with this action center uh, since 98. And uh, typically, you know, we do fundraisers. Okay. okay, so we do fundraisers and through fundraisers we raise funds and also you know, through fundraisers we get the volunteers. That's how the Action Center grew. Mm -hmm. Since 98 actually we started uh, conducting the events. Okay, so initially we started with cricket mm -hmm. and uh, in the same year uh, 98 uh, we started the cricket and the three mile. Okay, so these are two flagship events and through these events we raise funds. Okay. okay? And uh, initially, when we started these uh, fundraisers, now we, I mean, uh, the Dream Mile actually it was a, in the very first year, it was a huge success. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the cricket event actually we started it as a small event with 16 teams. Now, you know, it's, uh, it has become big and, uh, you know, now it has reached a stage of 48 teams. And then, uh, you know, there are, uh, in Atlanta, if you see, there are so many cricket leagues are uh, Correct. Uh, Correct. going on. It's actually busier than India. Yes. Sometimes yeah, I yeah, see, yeah. every two weeks I see yeah. cricket league going on. Yeah. Okay. In fact, we take pride in uh, pride in that because we are the first ones who to start, start the cricket, the culture tennis cricket. ball cricket in yeah. Atlanta. Understood. So, right. yeah. so we take pride. Not only we, our, our goal is not to uh, raise the awareness uh, in, uh, for cricket, but our goal is to raise the funds for the underprivileged children. And to them, yes. Yeah, yeah. I was there in 1998 uh, league. I did a few runs mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it. You were there. Yeah, I yeah. I remember first time, that. Uh, I think yeah. it's about now 16 years, uh, no, 18 years back. Yeah, yeah. The target yeah, yeah. So now, this funds that you are talking about raising funds, is it? do you raise more funds through cricket or more with the uh, dream mind? We, yeah, if you talk about the funds, actually, Dream Mile is our biggest event. Through Dream Mile, we raise uh, maximum funds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so through cricket, we may raise around 50k. Whereas uh, with uh, Dream Mile, now we have this year we have reached uh, we raised 250k. Okay, and you know the main reason is you know, it's a main uh, a mainstream event. Okay, okay. Right. and we do get a lot of sponsorships. Okay, we do get uh, sponsors from the uh, Desi companies, IT companies. Mm -hmm. We are able to get some sponsorships uh, at the mainstream companies like at and um, you know, Equifax, uh, Manhattan, yeah. They, but these, these two are um, yeah. the Fortune 500 companies too. Like yes, them. yes. So tell me the proportion of the corporate sponsorships and the individual, individual donors. Let's say you the total amount that you collected is $100. So what will be the expense out of the $100 for this, for organized name? I am looking at the the net fund that you collect to so that you can send it to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I, I, yeah, that's I, a very good question. I, I don't yeah. need the real terms. I'm yeah. just saying the percentages. No, that's a, that's a very good question. Yeah, so we say that, uh, so yeah, to answer to your question, see, for conducting any big event like Dream Mile, you know, there will be certain amount of expenses. Yes. That, that's, uh, those are inevitable. Okay, so, Venue, yeah, t shirts, venue, and, and so all those things. Exactly. Yeah. So let's say um, out of that $100, uh, probably uh, $10, it will go towards the expenses. 90%. Yeah, 90%. 90%. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, 90%. Because again, uh, yeah, uh, the, whatever the funds that we raise, yeah, we, yeah, uh, 
uh, every uh, every penny it will go to the fi uh, final uh, project so in us you have a non profit organization mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, again you transfer it to deba india non profit organization yes, yes. so yes. There, there's no tax or there's no tax either here or there I, no, I yeah, there's there's no tax. There's no tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In fact, I think I think uh, what we do now, yeah, we have a, it's a five one C organization here. So whatever we raise, it is not tax uh, taxable. And from here, we directly fund the projects in directly. India. Directly. Okay, we don't transfer the funds to the Vibha India. We directly fund the projects to India. And also to answer your question, yes, we are in the process of registering the uh, Vibha India. F bar or something is there, so that I think we we are. Uh, I think recently we have got that uh, uh, that Stats. also. Stats. Okay, so like it's equivalent to five one C. Yeah. How many centers are there in the US? We have uh, eighteen action centers. We have eighteen action centers, and uh, as I said, Atlanta is one of the biggest action centers, and uh, Bay Area is another uh, big action. Center. So besides uh, Atlanta, which is perhaps the most active, I know. I mean, Bay it's difficult yeah. to compare. Yeah. Bay Area is the another. Yeah. Actually, action they are active center. in all of them. Actually, not only people. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. most of the uh, Indian crowd, I mean, mm -hmm. American crowd, mm -hmm. they live. Mm -hmm. in that coast west coast and yeah. i think uh, they are into most of the community work and how far the people local uh, born and raised people take interest in vibhas uh, run or uh, as a project as such give me two different answers so when it comes to run definitely they'll come and mm -hmm. uh, how, how much percentage that you see there and when it comes to funding or taking a lot of interest asking questions about viba how much how many people do come and ask you about that i'm talking about the local people the blacks and whites sometimes for the dream mile yes we are uh, seeing uh, uh, a trend of uh, increasing trend and we get around the 20% to 30% of the oh my god 20 30% yeah, yeah 20 to 30% that's very high yeah that's very high so we do get that that many people mm -hmm. um, and actually you know those people primarily they participate in the run Exactly. Category. Okay, so we have walk and run. So in the, in the run category, basically we see a lot of non-desi participants. Whereas in the walk that we do, it's primarily desi. Okay. <laughs> and when it comes to the meetings, now yeah, we are not there yet. We try to involve. We try to attract the non-desi people also into our into our meetings and discussions. So we are not there yet. Okay, we are we are working hard. Actually, you no, know, we we thought this dream mile can become a mainstream event and it can attract, uh, you know, uh, non-desi participants also. So yeah, we have uh, you know, it's uh, certain years we do see good amount of. But when it comes to the volunteering, you no, know, when it comes to the volunteering on the dream mile, yes, we do get a uh, lot of signups from. Uh, non desi people oh, also okay particularly in you know, these uh, schools uh, not only these uh, the uh, high schools uh, we do get a uh, request from the um, medical schools and nursing mm -hmm. schools you know they want to do volunteering okay they look for some volunteering opportunities so they think that this is a good opportunity to volunteer and uh, yeah they volunteer thanks a lot all right thanks thank you thank, thank you, you. Vikash, nice meeting you, and welcome to the interview with Chilviru. I was talking to Vijay Vimalapuri as well as Srinivas Vimalapuri. Both had different roles. Vijay was talking about Viva as a project, Srinivas Atlanta Center, Action Center. So I want you to tell me the Dream Mile, how you organize the Dream Mile. I want the logistics behind that, and some numbers, and how it is growing every year. So if you can go through briefly, then I may have more questions based on that. So we we just finished the uh, Dream Mile for this year. Um, it was on seventeenth of September. Okay. Um, the preparation for Dream Mile actually starts uh, three months before the Dream Mile. Okay. So we started this work in in July. So we designate a uh, couple of leads for the event mm -hmm. uh, well before the even the preparation starts. Mm -hmm. And their main work is to actually uh, go and find leads for. uh different uh you teams mean, you mean volunteers volunteers okay uh, uh dream mile attracts almost more than 250 volunteers oh my God. okay uh, for uh, for for almost 3 months period mm -hmm. 
there are leads who work uh, uh, longer than uh, some of the ones. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, and um, so so that's the way we start. We meet every Wednesday uh, over phone okay. for almost three months. We have a a checklist of items which has to be uh, checked as they as they prepare. Uh, we also think about how to grow this dream mile every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, take it to mainstream. What what needs to uh, what else we can do to make it better every year. So um, so there a lot goes on behind the scene before the actual event takes place, which which lasts for a couple of hours. Uh, but the impact is is uh, more than 2,500 people are participating in the event. 250 uh, volunteers coming just to help, and there are a lot of vendors who come. So. So the overall impact is is immense. Hey, hey, you the trouble. Now tell me the expenses involved in this thing, approximately. Uh, majority of the expense comes from the outsourcing of the uh, task to a racing company. Mm-hmm. Um, they they go and find the. Uh, venue for us which uh, for last two years has been the same and um, they also provide the uh, the chip timing t-shirts do you have any service providers who again extend the service warranty without charging example photography yes. let's say dj right mm-hmm. so any of those things do you have those? yes so we, we always look to uh, cut expenses okay. we want we want to give the best experience to our uh, patrons mm-hmm. but at the same time try to do it uh, with reduced cost so we, we reach out to the local photographers local DJs and say that the like last year's uh, uh, our DJ uh, gave the, the whole thing free uh, mm-hmm. to us so we our, our, our aim is always to reduce cost Excellent. Okay. let's switch gears let, 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 I'm very curious to understand how do you reach out uh, the people uh, how do you really send out the flyers or uh, Facebook, like all the social media? How do you reach the world? How do you reach people with this uh, uh, word? Why? Because when you are saying 2,000 people signing up is not at all a joke. Mm-hmm. To get the interest of 2,000 people, you have to reach almost every Indian American in Atlanta, I'm sure. Yeah, so so we have a, a good network of uh, uh, people who are doing publicity for us. We, uh, we don't leave anything uh, for granted, so we always try to raise the bar. Okay. So we had 2,000 participants, 2,100 participants year before we, we reached 2,300. Our goal is to go to 2,500 or 3,000 participants. We want to become the biggest race in this part of uh, Atlanta. So uh, social media plays a big role nowadays, as you know, that, like we do a lot of Facebook. Actually, we do Facebook advertising. Um, there's a lot of word of mouth. So uh, we have our sponsors who, who, who send their messages. Uh, as you know, that the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta is one of the beneficiaries. They send to their own. Hmm. Um, uh, and all the community organizations also in the All the community organizations. Newsletters they yeah, newsletters, they, they put it there. Uh, then we also uh, do a lot of flyers. So we, we, we go actually race to race. Hmm. There, there, there are a lot of uh, 5K races happening in Atlanta every uh, week. So our volunteers actually go and distribute the postcards, they put it in cars. Uh, we distribute close to 10,000 postcards actually every year. So uh, we, we are trying to grow to, uh, to even mainstream uh, races. So we want to actually get more uh, American participation here in, in our races. So it is always challenging, but we, we, we are always up to the task. Okay. I'm going to put you on the spot. So tell me if you remember, if you recollect, one unique comment that you heard from the public after they finished or before they, fin- before they start someone who really came to you and then you know spoke out straight from his heart so uh three years back back we had a uh, we we were totally in a new uh, um, venue okay. it was a big challenging venue for us uh, because this uh, the local government didn't allow us to do many things which we wanted to do it at the time and, and it was challenging so that race we had we had some issues with that race so we, we took it we, we, we did a big brainstorming session uh, uh, amongst all our core volunteers to make sure that we give the best possible experience to, okay. to all our patrons. So uh, most of the time when, uh, and next race, which was like previous year from, from this year's race, we actually collected a lot of feedback. Okay. So, and it was like almost 98% positive feedback. 
there's some one lady actually said that uh, they love that the how much care we take uh, for uh, for every participant um, and the uh, the safety of every participant. Okay. The lot of care okay. players. Because the small kids also do come there, so safety yeah. is important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, Durgesh. It was a lot of information and it adds to my project. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to interview with Chilveru Prasuna. Uh, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, tell me about how do you draw the attention, how do you engage them, and uh, how do you help them? Volunteers join me both through friends and family. Okay. For example, I was motivated by my friend Madhvi Kurpati. Okay. Also by signing up at uh, booths, mm -hmm. at events like Dream Mile and Vipa Cricket. Mm -hmm. And uh, through volunteers match, we do. We are listed under volunteers match, mm -hmm. and they can also go to vibar.org and sign up. There is a volunteers match website. Oh, it's so we, Please explain to me. So all the non-profits, mm -hmm. anybody who are looking for volunteers, they mm -hmm. can list their organization's name. Oh, okay. Name. Okay, okay. Understand. Understand. Okay. So okay. then, when people. Anyone who wants to volunteer, who so go to this So the cause and the volunteering uh, match understood. happens there. Understood. So Bha is uh, listed, listed there. there. So yeah. anybody yeah. who wants to volunteer, mm -hmm. go through volunteers match, pick Vibha, sure. we get their communication Good. and uh, contact information. Mm -hmm. And then we follow up as soon as they sign up through yeah. any one of these channels. Right. As volunteer relations uh, team, we follow up with them mm -hmm. and provide them all the information about Vibha mm -hmm. and uh, invite them to the monthly meetings. We always conduct monthly meetings and uh, meet all. Maybe first thing you just uh, talk to them and then say hello and then later on ask them to come for a orientation, orientation meeting. Orientation okay. meeting. Okay. And uh, once they go through uh, all that and uh, we encourage them to come participate in the events. Excellent. As soon as they can. And we uh, once they are committed and uh, come for a couple of meetings or at least participate in mm -hmm. one event, we mm -hmm. assign uh, each volunteer to the lead mm -hmm. as we have multiple leads yes, working on making events right. successful. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a teamwork. Right. Everyone will come together and work right. towards making the event successful. But based on the person's uh, talent and skill, you try to put him into one of the teams. Exactly. So then they will work and we want to engage them throughout the year. Right. So we have a couple of events. Okay. Viva Cricket and Viva Dream Mile, okay. of course, as well. And uh, in between, we have a local voluntary. Mm -hmm. Meals by Grace, mm. gift wrapping events, mm. and uh, we encourage youth to participate in these events. So, tell me the proportion of for the adults. When I say adults, it's about 21 years and below 20 years. Do you get more of youth because it's, 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 so, it's so intense and it's so action oriented? So, you get more of uh, youth? Uh, like, youth come for many reasons. Of course, they want hours to start with. Okay. And You're talking about the community hours for the school grades. School grades. Okay. So they, and all local schools in Atlanta has Viva Club Beautiful. in schools. Mm -hmm. So the kids join the club and their friends and all come through the clubs also. And we want them to be engaged throughout the year. So each school will come up with an idea, whatever they like to serve the local community. Mm -hmm. And once they come up with an idea, all other schools and other volunteers will support that cause. Beautiful. Recently they had Meals by Grace where I think 15 volunteers mm -hmm. went and helped. Mm -hmm. Now Christmas time we'll have a gift wrapping event. Okay. So Books of Africa. Pick a lot of local events. We, at least we'll have one cinema, one mm -hmm. event per month. Okay. Where all the kids and uh, the parents, you adult volunteers also go there and help them. Why are these not uh, advertised or uh, you know, they are not shown very visibly on your website. I, I'm not aware of these things. I only thought uh, Dream Mile and the Cricket is the, the two main events. Yeah. So where we do the fundraising actually. Okay. The Dream Mile and Cricket are the fundraising They events. get more money, yes. Okay. All other events are uh, just helping the local community. Also, when, when, you, when you see the people whom you are helping, it gives you more satisfaction. More because satisfaction, like, yes. in, in other projects, the kids are somewhere in India, you only get to see the pictures. Exactly, right? exactly. Here in local volunteers, they can go and experience yeah. you know, personally what they are helping. And in person. Good. So let's talk about numbers. So how many volunteers currently are on the roads? Currently, there are about 800 registered volunteers in okay. Atlanta. How many are active? Active, about 200 adults. Do volunteers come in and tell you, why don't we do this like this? Of course. Do do? Like, uh, I always, uh, all the events we try to do best mm -hmm. than 
better than last year. Okay. What can we do better this year? Okay. And of course, new volunteers bring new ideas. Mm -hmm. We always encourage new volunteers to give the ideas and go over and uh, anal analyze everything. Recently in Dream Mind, mm -hmm. we had a LED screen. Okay. Uh, so that was a big success. If you have any unique or any special moment, the best thing I like about this group of people mm -hmm. is how passionate they are and dedication, support they provide to each other mm -hmm. in making the event successful. It doesn't matter who is getting the credit, right. what's happening. So it's a team spirit. Team spirit. Thank you very much, Prasuna, for uh, giving this information. This uh, information makes my project a lot better. Thank you. Thank you very much.